and it's out okay so we'll have a quick look at this we need to be hopefully a bit more well hopefully it won't be as bad getting in they are buggers to get in and out of these frames that that vf motor is um it's so freaking shoe on tight right up close here and here and going past here and anyway um there we go right so we can clearly see now um engine mount position so uh bottom engine mount position in relation to output shaft so now if we have a look bottom engine mount position in relation to output shaft it's a lot lower as you can see it there it's a lot lot lower than that other than that like i said you know, i think the first one you can clearly see the dna in both of them um so there's no going back um one way or another i'm going to do it so so we're back to the frame here now i think the way that engine came out i think it would be it's going to be more struggling to try lifting the frame the engines in they're actually stripping this out now because it's all got to come out just be left with the frame oh, and let me introduce reg there's reggie one of the gray twins and the other one is ronnie so uh i'm sure you'll be with me when i where they got the names from so they're the gray twins and this is ronnie uh, sorry this is reggie there's reggie reggie <laughs> garage cat yeah i i think it makes sense now to pull the swinging arm out now um take the forks out just literally take the forks out and do you know what take everything off it um and offer the frame over the engine we know if that bottom engine mounting bolt there is the only kind of datum we're going to well the, the one we're going to start with put it that way i'm going to start with that uh, in relation to the bottom of the engine it looks to be in a pretty similar place um like i say there is some dna in the two motors you can you can clearly see it not just because they're a v4 but you can clearly see some things were carried over um but to all intent and purposes they are completely different as well so yeah they didn't put this bearing in the split line of the crankcases the split line is behind this cover and they set the bearing let in the bottom half in the in the lower crankcase half whereas that bearing output shaft bearing is in between the two okay they're the key points on it it's also a lot lot busier in here oh you know round selector drums in here um obviously neutral wire so it's selector drums in here and selector drum i presume is down in the bottom down in here now i did section one of these but I, it's certainly not here anyway because there's just nothing there so it's certainly not there so it's a lot lot sort of less busy in there okay than what this one is uh, i know the exhausts aren't on and what have you but you know it's uh in as you can see in here there's a lot so that's where we're at, at the minute i think what i've got to do now in fact to tell you what we're going to do i will pull off i need to go and get the allen key because i'm going to sell this engine and the carbs are there by the way anybody who wants a good set of carbs there they are i do have a crank actually from an engine that stripped a long long time ago um with really good shells i've had it years that look and just while we're on that you all do know i'm sure you do but obviously that's a 360 degree crank which is from this engine okay so it means your two front cylinders are up together um and your two rear cylinders are up together i do you know what i can't remember which way i can't remember now whether it's one cylinder up and one's at 90 degree down if you get what i mean but anyway to all intent and purposes here as i said that's a 360 crank and that engine runs 180 degree crank so this crank pin is 180 degrees away from that crank pin on the vfr engine that's why i think this does carry its own unique sound when it's on song this motor there's something not quite like it it is a uh, 
It's a howling machine, these V4s. And um, they did get a lot of it right, Honda. I, I do have to say they did get a lot of it right, but uh, they also got a lot of it wrong, didn't they? Anyway, they didn't get a lot wrong with that one. No, so um, they certainly didn't get a lot wrong with that one. Right, okie dokie, I am now going to... Um, I'm going to get the Allen keys. In fact, I'll do it now while we're... Reggie, what are you doing? So let's have a quick look. It's going to be the 8, isn't it? So it's going to be the 8. Let's have a quick look. Look at that cat. Look at that beautiful cat. Oi, smile. There you go. <laughs> Good boy, Reggie. Right. Reggie and Ronnie. I'm having to do this kind of... Reggie and Ronnie, the grey twins, have quite a unique little amusing okie dokie let's have a look in here i'm going to show the cams to any potential buyers okay let's get it to this to this is that the cap front one off to anybody who's interested Brilliant oil pressure. Um, it's on previous videos, this engine running. And I even put a telemag there to kind of put a stat, you know, a checkpoint in time. You can see that. I think it was just before Christmas, just before Christmas 2022. So, uh, hope we don't get oil pissing out everywhere. I think there must only be, there can only be a bit that's gathered in the bottom of this here. So if it'll let me, oh yes, whoa, there we go. Let me see inside here. Where's my torch? Torch. Look at the oil there. Okay. The oil there on that lobe, there's the heel of that cam. All right, it's that way around. There is marks on them, don't get me wrong, but there's marks on every cam on every engine I've ever looked at. Look at the oil, the amount of oil that's in this motor. Okay. That's with the oil mod. And... Oh, I can't hold everything together. Hang on a minute. See if I can do it this way. Right, my finger's getting in the way. Could really do. Just see a little bit of clearance there on it, look. Yeah, so you can see the marks, but you can't feel it. There's absolutely nowhere where it's been running on the, the heel of the follower, you know, and created a little. So anyway, there we go. That's a, a look inside. Um, this engine's also had, I hasten to add, I can see what you were seeing there. So in here, when the oil comes up the pipe in here comes into this cap and these caps have got a tiny little oil uh, oil hole that's actually been slightly enlarged so it allows if you're getting more oil coming up here anyway and here if you get more oil up those two if it's meeting the tiny little pinhole there then it's kind of defeats the object of having a volume of oil here irrespective of pressure of the day it wants it wants a volume of oil up here as well as a pressure but it wants a volume of oil so uh so yeah that's we drilled a hole in it obviously this pipe then carries it to to here and the little hole in the cap's been drilled again in fact have i got another cap bear with me and i'll show you i have got another cap right there's the cap can we see the hole I used to be able to see the hole, hang on. The hole is that tiny. It is. In there, look. That tiny hole. Well, that tiny hole there is fed from. Just get, make sure I get this right. It's fed from there, look, from that one. Okay. So in there, it comes into that into this little gallery here if you like 
into the little gallery through that hole there into this little gallery and then out of that pinhole oh you can see it there I think through there that hole has been slightly enlarged on all the four caps well all eight caps when you look when you're on the front cylinders so there we go slightly enlarged holes in it and uh, yeah that's where we're at that's one of the caps this is the failing from Honda these caps were not put on the head well I'll we'll touch on this while I've got it normally what would happen let me get that gasket off normally what would happen here and where Honda cut corners just put that there they bolt this cap and that cap to the head and then in the manufacturing process they would line bore through here that's why you get the little half round rubber because obviously the rocker cup is not on it don't need to be on but they bored through so they bored all the way through to get that and obviously now in the side of the head they've got a, a crescent half mooned hole there honda didn't want that look on these heads they wanted to keep it flat so i've read so i've read and that was one of the downfalls so what they did they used a miller to scoop out for one and that intent purposes here scoop out that where the cam sits here and then just have generic made caps like this one okay generic made caps you see that cap is essentially that one but it would also be that one you know that's got the thrust washer side in it there obviously so um the thrust channel for the cam stop it going left to right uh yeah and that's where they went wrong and it was all by all accounts it was all do well there is other issues it's this oil in bit again because obviously the oil just came from here out of here after it had fed everything else in the gearbox the bit that was left if you like out of a very small gallery feeding all this lot and thought mm, oh, oh, oh yeah shit, yeah yeah we've not we haven't put an oil feed up to the cams so they went in here essentially i'm sure it was designed in but they, they took the pickup from here a little metal oil pipe went around split into two and went up onto these two banjos fed into here as we've just described and crappy little oil feed holes so obviously if you've got problem number one but then problem number two is hardly any oil up here so it was just destined for failure um the other thing that we can point out is these cams have got earlier cams had a hollow they were hollow in the cams okay so then they decided to maintain and use the cam as an oil gallery so they put the little core plugs in in the end as you can see these are the later ones it's got the core plug in the end with a hole drilled in there look as you can see in the base of the cam so they used the camshaft as an oil way and oil would come out of the little hole here as it was going around to try and lubricate in here and um, essentially there was just not enough oil up here this engine well as it stands at the minute the pipe I'm going to sell the kit separately um, I think unless somebody makes me a, an offer for all of it so the kit is on it but I've, I've also got the metal pipe and just put it back to standard obviously these caps will still be slightly bored out but um and i've had it running and you can see we've got 80 psi when it's all right when it's cold but it you know it idles can't remember you'll have to watch the other videos but it's still there's absolutely no detriment to oil pressure by opening out these holes so it gives us a um a much better flow there's a lot more oil in there and you can even see it all in the, in the cap heads of the bolts and this hasn't been run for what a couple of couple of three months or whatever now you can even see it everywhere looking the bolt heads so um yeah good engine there as good as they can be um anybody interested it's going so uh if not i'll just sit and chuck it in the corner at the workshop here and just put it under a do you know what I mean it's I know they're not worth a lot it's not what it's about for me I just want to try and recover my swinging arm my obviously this swinging arm will be for sale as well and all these joints in here are all free because I've done them all they're all re-greased all moved they're all free and they all come apart okay so anyone wants a swinging arm obviously we've got a swinging arm here 
The front wheel will also be going shortly. Although that's not on my to-do list yet because it obviously all the back stuff on the engine. But ultimately I'm going to change the front wheel. I'm hoping to change the front wheel and put a different size front wheel in it. A 17 incher in it. So we can get the decent sized tyres. Hopefully a VFR 800 front wheel or 750 foot. And make, hopefully make the calipers work. I don't know until we've got it in our hand, do I? You know, it's a, everything's just, you know what, we're not afraid to try something. It's a, you know, it is what it is. So, um, anyway, swing arm for sale, rear wheel, everything that goes with it, if anyone's interested as well. Set of carburetors, um, you can see running on one of the other videos. Crank there if anyone wants one. Like I say, with shells all in it, the shells are under the tape here good shells in it and obviously we've got the good motor so i'm going to sign off now put this cover back on um and bung up the holes with some blue roll and we're going to take it to the next stage